Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this year's 2021 The Journey Back to Birchtown Virtual Gospel Concert. My name is Andrea Anderson, and I am your host for this evening for this amazing event, which will feature Nova Scotia's gospel artists. You know, gospel music has a rich tradition and history in Canada, tracing all the way back to slavery. When the lyrics of these songs were coded with secret messages, giving directions to the Underground Railroad and a way to freedom in Canada. Today, gospel music continues to be a powerful source of encouragement, hope and strength for people of African Nova Scotian descent. I hope this evening's concert will encourage you and lift up your spirits. So let's begin our evening with the national anthem being sung by Riel Williams, followed by Owen O. Sound Lee singing the Black National Anthem. Well, thank you, Riel, and thank you, Owen. Folks, you know that an event like this doesn't happen without those working tirelessly behind the scenes. Now let's hear from President and Chair of the Programming and Event Committee, Darlene Cooper. Welcome. My name is Darlene Cooper, and I am the President of the Black Loyalist Heritage Society. As well, I am the current Chair of Programming and Events and it is my pleasure to share with you our first ever virtual celebration of Journey Back to Birchtown. Journey Back 
to Birchtown came to life with the original opening of the Black Loyalist Heritage Center on June 15th of 2015. The center is the cornerstone of our historical site and it is a state-of-the-art exhibit hall that tells the story of the Black Loyalist ancestors. Journey back to Birchtown brings us back to our roots here in Nova Scotia with the founding of Birchtown in 1783. Based on the muster roll at that time, Birchtown had the largest number of free blacks living in one community in North America. As we discussed and planned this year's Journey Back to Birchtown celebration, we knew that we had to change the format due to the pandemic protocols. We had to be creative and wanted to keep our focus on music and sharing our musical roots with others. The concept of different genres spoke to us, and from that point forward, we gathered the right people to deliver our idea. We want to thank the African Nova Scotia Music Association who worked with us to bring to life our signature event. Journey back to Birchdown. Tonight, we ask you to join us as we journey through our heritage using music and sharing with you why this genre speaks to us and for us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your journey back to Birchtown with us. Well, welcome back. We are so glad that you have decided to join us for this year's 2021 Journey Back to Birchtown virtual gospel concert. But before we hear from our musical artist this evening, we want you to hear from the secretary and founding member of the Black Loyalist Heritage Center, Barbara Falk. Good day, my name is Barbara Falk, and I am a founding board member of the Black Loyalist Heritage Society. In 1989, the Shelburne County Cultural Awareness Society was created in the name of social justice. However, it was brought to life years before as my friends and I shared our lives, our stories, our history. A history that was not taught to us or our children. A history that runs deep, is rich with our ancestral stories, and allows us and our children to be proud of our roots, our heritage in Nova Scotia. The Society changed its name to the Black Lotus Heritage Society in the 1990s with a clear focus and mandate. The Society was committed to discovering, interpreting, safeguarding, and promoting the history and heritage of the Black Loyalist. Over the last 30 years, we have worked to ensure the chronicles and contributions of the Black Loyalist. My ancestors takes its pleasure. It takes its place with other communities that helped shape Nova Scotia and Canada's cultural mosaic. In 2015, the Black Lotus Heritage Centre opened its doors to the public and the Society hosted its first annual Journey Back to Birchtown. Our history delivered through music, food and friendship. As we celebrate Journey Back to Birchtown this year, we are hosting it in a virtual environment. We embrace this new environment knowing that you are with us. So please sit back and relax Enjoy the musical celebration of the Black Loyalist Heritage Society's journey back to Birchtown. Thank you so much, Barbara. But we are so fortunate to have with us this evening also the site manager of the Black Loyalist Heritage Center, Cynthia Dorrington, who is here to bring greetings. Good day, my name is Cynthia Dorrington, and as the site manager of the Black Loyalist Heritage Center, I would like to welcome you to this year's journey back to Birchtown in its virtual format. As Barb and Darlene noted, this event, which is deemed as our signature event, commenced in 2015. Over the years, our small but mighty team has pulled this two-day event off with much success. Last year, we canceled the event, but knew we had to continue the event using a different platform this year. We welcome you to our virtual Journey Back to Birchtown. Journey Back to Birchtown depicts our heritage using music. Gospel, jazz, and R&B are genres of music that have defined and shaped us, and we would like to travel this journey with you using these genres. The music featured in this episode will be gospel music, a music near and dear to our hearts. The origins of gospel music arose during slavery, when enslaved Africans were introduced and converted to the Christian religion. Remnants of different African cultures were combined with Western Christianity, with one result being the emergence of the spiritual. During the 18th and 19th centuries, two types of spirituals emerged, jubilee songs and sorrel songs. 
Some spirituals were also used to pass on hidden messages. For example, when Harriet Tubman was nearby, slaves would sing, Glow Down Moses, to signify that a deliverer was nearby. What we would identify today as gospel music began in the early 20th century. Gospel music had its roots in the blues, as well as in the more free-wielding forms of religious devotion of sanctified churches who encouraged individuals to testify, speaking or singing spontaneously about their faith and experience of the Holy Ghost, sometimes while dancing in celebration. By the 1940s, black gospel artists began tours and became full-time musicians. Sister Rosetta Thorpe became a pioneer, initially selling millions of records with her ability to drive audiences into hysteria by sliding and bending her pitch as well as accompanying herself on the steel guitar. In contrast, Mahalia Jackson used her dusky contralto voice to develop her gospel ballads, as well as favoring a more joyful approach to singing the gospel. Folks, I ask you to sit back and relax. Enjoy our journey back to Birchtown through gospel music. Thank you so much, Cynthia. And now it's time to hear from our gospel artists. Up next is Esther Medley Smith. Esther resides in Dartmouth with her beautiful family. She continues to pay homage to God, her ancestors, her strong matriarchal role models, and the community of Guysboro, where she grew up and benefit from the model, it takes a village to raise a child. She comes from a musical family of roots in gospel, R&B, and country. She fondly remembers falling in love with gospel music from the time she was five, when she would sit at the piano with her grandfather, the late minister of music, Donald Johnson and sing along with him at the top of her lungs as he played songs like Jesus Met the Woman at the Will. You can catch Esther singing as one of the newest members of the Nova Scotia Mass Choir, as well as performing backup vocalists for various musical artists. Without further ado, I present to you Esther Medley Smith.
thank you, Lord, I love you, Lord, because of who you are, I give you glory, because of who you are, I give you praise, because of who you are.
Our next gospel artist this evening hails from North Preston, Shane Cawley. Shane is a local artist born and raised in Halifax. He is the past ECMA R&B award winner. Now he is very involved and sings in the church at St. Thomas Baptist Church, North Preston. And as a pastor, I'm so glad he's singing in church. I remember the first time I heard Shane sing and I was in awe. What an amazing thing to have a young man sing with his father, Joe Cawley, in Conquers for Christ. I give to you Shane Cawley. It's already getting better, it's already getting easier, God's already moving on your behalf, it's already, it's already getting better, it's already getting easier, God's already Moving on my behalf, it's already, it's already getting better, it's already getting easier, God's already moving on my behalf.
day The depression that steals my voice The confusion that arrests my life So I can't even make a choice Life seems so loud And I've been too proud So Lord what do I do? I just need a word from you. Oh, I need a word. Tell me which way to turn. I need a word. Tell me which way I should go. Oh, I need a word. Just got bad news. Life just stuck in my hot day. My family's in need, and I just can't seem to make a way. Oh, life seems so loud, and I've been too proud. Tell me which way to turn, I need a word, tell me which way I should go. Well, thank you, Shane, so much for those two songs. I need a word. And it's already getting better, already getting easier. You see, things get better when God moves on behalf of us. But God will also use people to move on behalf of others, to make life easier, to make things better. And one person that God used and continues to use is Louise Delisle. Louise is an award-winning activist author, playwright, and African Nova Scotian community leader. She is well known for her work in addressing environmental racism and the impacts of climate change on the black community in Shelburne. She is the founder of the South End Environmental Injustice Society, known as SEED, founded in 2016. 
Seed was in response to the sitting of the landfill near the African Nova Scotian and working poor community in Shelburne. It was awarded the group award in 2018 at the Nova Scotia Human Rights Awards celebration. Made international news in 2019 and 20 with the release of a documentary entitled There's Something in the Water. In addition to her work as a member of SEED, Louise is a board member of the Royal Water Watch. She sits on the advisory council for the Shelburne Regional High School, co-chair of the African Nova Scotian Community Coalition. For an exhaustive list of her community and organizational involvement, I encourage you to check her out online. Truly, this is a woman who God has used to make things better for the African Nova Scotian community. I present to you this evening, Louise Delisle. Oh, hello. I'm going to steal a little bit of your time. I'm going to tell you about this so-called freedom that we was to get and never did. Some 3,000 of us landed right here, this promise of freedom. They told us that it would be a privilege for us to fight for the British for this freedom. Oh yes, some got papers, but most of us didn't. And we lived, we lived like animals. We never got food or blankets, living in holes in the ground we was. No easy thing to get, this freedom. Well, you see, I come from North Carolina, made my way up through the Underground Railroad to New York City and onto one of them 81 big old ships headed for Nova Scotia. I was happy and proud, thinking I was going to have me a nice piece of land and things to get started. Oh, I landed here in November in summer clothes, no coat, cold child, cold. And the people around me, why they was already sick and dying dying of starvation and diseases that we had no cure for, didn't know what they was. And poor little children crying, crying of hunger. No easy thing, this freedom. But every day I said to the good Lord above, here I am and I'll do the best I can with what you give me. And that's what I did. I made it, but many of my friends didn't. Thank you so much, Louise. I have so much admiration for the work that you have done. I trust every one of you are enjoying and having a good time this evening at this amazing gospel concert and celebrating the rich history of Birchtown. I know that this year we couldn't visit the heritage site due to COVID-19, but good news, good news, good news. The site is open and they want to see you, but make sure you book your tour before you come. You know, historically, Birchtown was known for the strength and expressiveness of its churches and faith played an important role in the lives of its people. So coming up next is a musical artist who uses his gifts and talents in the ministry of music to serve the local church. What can I say about this artist? He is a musician, a songwriter, a vocal arranger and producer, recipient of various music awards. He shared his stage with the acclaimed artists such as Mariah Carey, Kim Barrel, Drake, Julie Black, Classified, Jordan Spax, and many, many more. I know him personally as the director of music at Emmanuel Baptist Church, where I serve as the assistant pastor. There is a saying that distance is just a test of how far love will travel. And I'm so glad that he decided to travel from his hometown in Toronto, Ontario for love. Hello, somebody, for love here in Nova Scotia. 
And now we get to bring him into your home as we continue this journey back to Birchtown celebration. Why don't you put your hands together for Owen O. Sound Lee.
the voice in the desert crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on the cloud, shining like the sun, at the trumpet call, lift your voice, it's the year of jubilee, out of Zion's hill, salvation comes. Here we go. These are the days of Ezekiel. Dry bones becoming as flesh. And these are the days of your servant, David, building the temple of praise. And these are the days of your harvest. The fields are all wide in the world. Still we are the laborers in your vineyard, preparing the way. The Lord, behold, He comes riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. At the trumpet call, lift your voice. This year of Jubilee, out of Zion's hill, salvation comes. Behold, He comes riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. At the trumpet. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 Behold, He comes riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. so much for singing those two uplifting songs and I want to give a shout out to the musicians I mean that was amazing I don't know about you folks at home but I was really feeling it in here it felt like Sunday morning at church yes it did but I want you to know that if you want to hear more from Owen singing gospel music, well, can I just put a little plug out and say, come on down to Emmanuel Baptist Church or join us online for a service. You know, this has been a year of unprecedented year of COVID and our inability to celebrate this year's festival in person. But I'm so glad that we are able to bring the best of this year's journey back to Birchtown into your living rooms, into your bedroom, wherever you are this evening. I am enjoying this gospel concert so much that I do not want it to end. And guess what? It is not over yet. No, it's not. Our next gospel artists are no strangers to the Journey Back to Birchtown Festival. They are a booming men's soul gospel group from North Preston. They have graced stages across the Maritimes, and they are known as one of the best gospel groups in Canada. And you will know why once you hear them this evening. 
I know this is a virtual concert, but Ken, come on, put your hands together in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever you are, for none other than the Sanctified Brothers. Like that river I've been running ever since. Said it's been up long, long time coming. But I know change is going to come. Oh, yes, it is. I'm not afraid to die, no. One day my daddy told me what's up there beyond the skies. I said it's been up a long, 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 long time coming. Oh, 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 I know change is going to come. Oh, yes, it is. Can I talk for a minute, brother? Go ahead, go ahead. You see, one day I went to see this brother. Can you help me please? Oh, help me please. All he did, he kept on knocking me, knocking me down. grateful to God who gives me the strength to carry on. I know it's been a long, 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 long time coming, but I know Made me see all of those things in life 
This concludes our journey back to Birchtown, virtual gospel concert. But this does not conclude the celebration. No, it's not over yet. We look forward to the next part of this amazing journey back to Birchtown as we highlight jazz music and the Birchtown legacy. I want to give a great big thank you to our sponsors, Eastlink, Alderney Landing Theater, Russell Gross of the Black Cultural Center, Lou Gannon and the staff of the African Nova Scotian Music Association. My name is Andrea Anderson. It's been a pleasure to be your host this evening. I just want to say good night and have a wonderful evening and God bless.